Well, general chemistry students, warning assumptions ahead. Yes, helpful assumptions though, to help us solve our equilibrium problems. The general form of our assumption is that if you have a number minus X, you can make an assumption and drop the minus X, all right? But we need to know what the size of X and the number it's relative to. And you can see some explanations there. A and B are just numbers. Okay, A zero is a fancy number. And then we have an equilibrium constant. Now, before you do the uh, assumption, we do 100 times K and see if it's less than the A. If it is, we can use the assumption, yay, yay, yay. So I have a little practice in here that you can stop and look at. But afterwards, we check to see if our X is greater uh, or it's less than 5% of the original number, okay? So we call this the 5% rule. You really do it after you do your ice tables and you solve for X, okay? And so I show a number, uh, given an example here where I take X and I divide it by the original A0 and multiply by 100%. So let's practice and see why this can work. It really comes from an understanding of significant digits and just numbers in general. So how can we drop uh, that X, the minus X? Well, first of all, it can be minus X or plus X. It doesn't really matter. Here's an example. Let's say I have 0. 0.00005 and I subtract it. And you can see that I get a, a number there. But I've, I've got to round it to two significant digits to two decimal places because of the addition subtraction rule. Well, it's 0. 0.1. I'm right back to where I started. But what if I added that uh, number? Well, here's another example. What if I had 2.5 molar and I added 0. 0.003? Well, that's 2.503. Yeah, and the number is technically different, but I round to one decimal place or two sig digs there, and I'm back to where I started. So it didn't matter if I added or subtracted. But what if it was like a 2x I was subtracting? No, doesn't change it too much either. Doesn't change it about 2% in this particular example right here, but that's much less than 5%. And that's what we're looking for. So it doesn't matter if you're adding or subtracting or whether it's a plus or minus 2x or 3x, not going to change it. But what if it was in the numerator or denominator? Well, we're going to check that in a little bit here, but let's just see how it works to help you. Okay, so here's an equilibrium expression. Let's do the 100K check. 100 times the equilibrium constant, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4, gives you 0 0.014. That's less than the 0.1, so we can drop it. Okay, now we've got 0.1 in the denominator. We can multiply that on both sides. Okay, I just changed the x to x times x to x squared. Multiply both 0.1 on both sides, take the square root to find X, and I've got 0 0.0037. Let's check it with 5% rule to see if this was okay to do. 0 0.0037 divided by original 0.1, multiply by 100%, yep, 3.7. That's less than 5%, this works, it's okay. Now, what if it, the assumption was in the numerator, like it is in this example right here, where I have both a plus X in the top and minus X in the bottom, can we still use it? Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's use it. And if we do, uh, it makes this problem really easy to solve. You'll have some like this. And the point ones divide out and you just get X. We can check the 5% rule here. Take that and divide uh, X divided by the original concentration, 0.1. And um, yeah, that's way less than 5%. So it works here. So don't be afraid to use the assumption. I know they say don't make them, but when it comes to equilibrium problems, you're going to have to use the assumption to really help you.